best chefs too we have had to adapt. Over the past four months, we have close to 100 online training, coaching, and mentoring sessions. We improved our virtual tools, engaged more international speakers, and held remote investor meetings. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Flat6 Labs Tunis 6 Demo Day. I am Yahya Huri, Managing Director of Flat6 Labs Tunis. I'll be host for today and I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and are watching this from a socially distanced location. For those of you who have recently heard about us, Flat6 Labs is an accelerator and 30 million Tunisian dinar venture capital fund that invests in startups and supports entrepreneurs to grow their projects. We have a presence in seven countries across the region and have been active in Tunisia for the past three years. Since 2017, we've built a diversified portfolio and invested more than 11 million dinars in 43 startups. Everything we have been hearing for the past nine months has revolved around how the world is changing because of COVID-19. The question is, what do we need to do about it? Everyone is rushing to adapt to this new normal. We believe that startups are very well positioned to innovate around today's challenges. With their quick thinking, lean methodology, and agile tech solutions, the entrepreneurs you will be seeing today are working hard to help the world catch up with the rapid change we are experiencing. At Flesk Labs too, we have had to adapt. Over the past four months, we held close to 100 online training, coaching, and mentoring sessions. We improved our virtual tools engaged more international speakers, and held remote investor meetups. All of this couldn't have been possible without the continuous support of our mentors, coaches, the Flatix Labs team, and of course, our partners. A special thanks to the Tunisian American Enterprise Fund, Menangs Holding, the Biad Bank, and the International Finance Corporation, who all renewed their confidence and their trust in us. But back to the startups. I am particularly excited to announce that six out of the eight startups you will meet today are led or co-founded by women entrepreneurs. We're also happy to have two startups co-founded by the diaspora based in the Netherlands, Bahrain, and Cyprus. The eight startups of the cycle cover several industries from fintech to fashion, including insurtech, gaming, health tech, and mobile ERPs. More information and contact details are available at demoday.flatsixlabstunis.com. So get comfortable and let the show begin. Daha Kabani, Amri Arba Finisne, je suis le CEO et l'un des cofondateurs de Amfraud. Amfraud est une application de détection de fraude destinée à les sociétés d'assurance. En fait, nous avons à travers une intelligence artificielle un homme détecté ou qu'un femme fraude fait les sinistres en terre. Dans la recherche de l'Adoum, on a été mis en relation avec plusieurs mentors. Il y a eu plusieurs axes dans le produit interne, ou dans le marketing, ou dans le sales, ou dans les niveaux possibles d'offrir le col. Il y a eu beaucoup de en termes de maturité. Et il y a eu des opportunités, il y a eu des marchés, il y a eu des marchés. Hello everybody, my name is Taha Kabani and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Unfrauded. Lately, I've been victim of a car accident. And what I do remember from the experience itself, besides the accident, because I was running at high speed and I lost control over the car, is my first two human interactions just after that. The first one was with our insurer, who asked me whether I can find a way to get compensated by the insurance company. And the second one was with our repairing shop, who asked me whether I will pay for the reparation cost or it's the insurance company who takes that in charge. Because we tend to overcharge the reparation cost if it's the insurance company who pays for that. But what we ignore when pushing people to commit those kinds of fraud is that it ends up hurting us as final client. It ends up provoking a delay in our compensation. And to put this context into number, it ends up provoking a delay of 20 days for an average claim to be processed. 150 million dinars that are lost each year due to fraud in Tunisia. And only 25% of car insurance fraud are being detected. 
Actually, it's creating a huge market valued at $2.5 billion at 2019, estimated to be at 7.9 by 2024, with a compound annual growth rate of 25.8%. And this is why we created Amfrauded, an AI software for car insurance fraud detection. What we actually did is that as long as we have image of a damaged car, we created an AI that's trained on thousands of data entry that predict and estimate the repairing cost, detect the damaged part. Then we check a list of business rules and fraud indicator. Actually, we use AI to detect fraud patterns that are invisible to humans. Then we check links between current claim and old fraudulent claim. Finally, we correlate all this information in a detailed report containing a global score and the higher the score is, the higher the probability that it's a fraud. Here is how it looks like for an insurance agent. First of all, he can do an expertise where based on an AI, we detect on an image which parts are being visible and whether they should be repaired or replaced. Then he can generate a repairing cost estimation report. It looks like an expert report with labor hour and painting. Then we check a list of business rule and fraud indicator and detect whether the sinister is fictive or real. And finally, we create a data analytics module, allowing insurance company to have an overview in real time on all their ecosystem, like their expert, their garage, and their client. Our business model is really simple. We are selling to insurance companies, charging them for each claim processed by Unfrauded, plus a fixed amount for an annual license. We can also provide it for car manufacturers so they can offer it for their client as a mobile app and instantly generate reparation costs. And the classifier that we are using to detect whether a car claim is fraud or not, if we train them on other data set, we can detect fraud in other branches like health insurance fraud or banking fraud or fiscal fraud. So far, we signed with Star Insurance, which is the biggest insurance in the Tunisian market. Actually, we allowed them to save 40,000 dinar on one random claim. We also generated 30,000 dinar as total revenue. And we started customer prospection. We are finalizing with two clients in the Tunisian market. By the end of 2020, we will be launching an enhanced version of Amfrauded, closing deals with four insurance company, generating total revenue of 250,000 dinar. By 2021, we'll be launching Amfrauded for car rental agency, closing deals with 10 clients in total, generating total revenue of 1.1 million dinars. By 2022, we estimate that we will have enough data to launch a data analysis app for car piece importers. We will be also expanding Amfrauded to insurance companies in the MENA region, ending with 23 clients, generating total revenue of 2.3 million dinars. To keep enhancing Amfrauded and secure more deals, we are raising 600,000 dinars dedicated for team expansion, event exposure and business development, data labeling and product certification. None of this would be possible without an amazing team composed of myself as a CEO, Nader who is our CTO, Abdrahman who is our CAAO, and Camilia Neili who is our CDBO. We are lucky to be advised by CEOs and experts in the insurance industry in Tunisia. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and please join us creating the future of the insurance industry. Fatma Ben Sultan, fondatrice de Fierce. Fierce est la première marque arabe de sportswear et d'activewear qui combine le monde du sport et de la mode. Fierce badlet les hayeti parce qu'en fait finalement c'est c'est un bonheur. J'ai décidé d'intégrer Flastic Labs. On a la chance vraiment euh, d'entrer en contact avec énormément d'experts, énormément de personnes vraiment qui sont dévouées, euh, qui sont là pour t'aider, pour partager avec toi énormément d'informations. Il y a une petite que je vais bien. Et puis un point très important que j'ai appris à Flat, c'est euh, déléguer. C'est l'importance de l'équipe. On ne peut pas tout faire et euh, qu'il y a des personnes qui finalement savent le faire beaucoup mieux que toi. Hello, I'm Fatma Ben Sultan, Fierce Founder and Creative Director. And I've been working in the fashion industry for a decade. So as an active woman, mother and entrepreneur, I find myself having to change clothes several times a day. And I just wanted to be able to drop the kid to school, show up to work, and then hit the gym in one comfortable and stylish outfit. I realized I was not alone. 
the population in the Arab world is young and active, with 60% of them between 18 and 45. The activewear market in the MENA region is booming, with $14 billion and 13% growth. Yet, this market is mostly occupied by large foreign brands and fast fashion outlets, either too expensive or low quality. So with my fashion and retail expertise, I thought, why not take this great opportunity to create a multifunctional brand? This is how Fierce was born, the first Arab-made activewear brand in the MENA region, providing a fashionable, inclusive, and high-quality product at a competitive price. We focus on mixing fashion with function for all shapes and sizes. We aim to be an inclusive brand and also normalize hijabs within sports, leading to more acceptance, confidence, and empowerment. But how do we make the product? We use only certified performance fabrics that are designed for a maximum softness and comfort. Our production is fully executed in Tunisia from development to delivery, according to the international standards. Moreover, we are a slow fashion brand with an eco-friendly manufacturing process where we upcycle our unsold item and aim to generate as little waste as possible. To purchase our products, you go to our e-commerce platform, select your item, choose to pay online or on delivery, and receive your outfit straight to your door. We are able to quickly deliver all over the region thanks to our logistic partners. As an online first brand, our business model is based on direct sales through our e-commerce website. We have an average basket of 200 Tunisian dinars and an average price per legging of 110 Tunisian dinars. Our biggest achievement is our online community of over 40,000 followers. Our constant communication with them inspires us to give them the best product possible. We also have established a relationship with an army of fierce ambassadors, such as fitness influencers, coaches, and top-level athletes. We are the proud sponsor of the female African champion volleyball team and the Tunisian champions, swimmer and fencer. We will also be sponsoring athletes competing at the next Olympic Games. Since 2019, we generated revenue exceeding 90,000 Tunisian dinars and grew monthly by 20%. To date, we have delivered products to more than 550 unit customers with a growth of 7% monthly. 25% of them have returned for repeat purchases. By the end of the year, we will add a men's collection with the goal of reaching a revenue of 130,000 Tunisian dinars. Our aim by the end of 2021 is to enlarge our range of products to sell 4,000 pieces and generate a revenue of 450,000 Tunisian dinars. In 2022, we plan to expand to the MENA region and our goal is to generate 1.5 million Tunisian dinars. As our brand expands, we are looking for the right partner to come with us on this exciting journey. We anticipate needing 700k Tunisian dinars of investment to increase digital marketing, supply new technical fabric for R&D, expand outside of Tunisia, and in doing all of this, we will of course need to hire. We are currently a dynamic team of four. Khalil, our COO, Aisha, our sales manager, Rami, our CTO, and myself as a CEO. We are also very grateful to be supported by a group of experts in the MENA region. Fierce aspires to be a proud Tunisian brand taking over the MENA region, defending diversity in shapes, sizes, and gender and leading to more confidence and empowerment. Thank you. Oli Limzori, one of the four co-founders of the startup Winshot. Winshot is the company for the marques, the commercial and the distributors that we see in real time. The execution of the products, the points of vente, 
في الريزو نتاعهم ولا زاده او نيفو دي غوفوندور اليوم مع فلاتسيكس لابس حطونا اون كونتاكت مع عباد اللي هما دي زيكسبير في لي دومين اللي يقربونا واللي عطاونا برشا افكار باش نجموا نقدموا بطريقه سريعه في ستركتوراسيون دو نوتر دو نوتر بروجي حاجه اخرى لاكسي او فينانسمون كي اي تري امبورطون واللي اليوم باش يخلينا تكون عندنا اون ايزونس باش اون بو ريكروتي دي كوميرسيو دي سوبور كليون pour partir vers l'international. Hello everyone, my name is Walid Mzouri, co-founder and CEO at WinShot. Every day, every single brand is dealing with thousands of retail stores between owner stores, franchised, labeled and resellers. With a limited number of field store auditors using an adapted communication tools like email, WhatsApp and SMS, Directors in the headquarters are enabled to see what's actually being deployed in every single stores. This leads to poor brand consistency, poor team engagement, and as well as poor customer experience. At Twinshot, we developed an all-in-one business analytics platform for brands to ensure that their in-store displays are well executed and that their field workforces can collect and report in-store data in real time that improve distribution performance and increase sales. We do this through a secure, private, and scalable web and mobile platform with a large configurability and a lot of data analysis and reports so that brands can pinpoint when their stores are not up to the retail distribution standard. WinShot optimizes retail field operations and in-store merchandising, allowing action plans, surveys, and tasks to be sent from management directly to field workforces in order to collect, command, and send full reports in real time, and in return, receive what they can change to make the in-store execution better. We also support retail store alert bottom-up feedback and allow store managers to check and real-time report about in-store critical problems that could affect brand owners. This type of feedback helps headquarter directors and regional managers to keep the organization on track. But that's not all. We support collaboration by allowing individuals and group of collaborators at all levels to share any media file and any type of documents to take part through WinShot mobile app in chat discussion for real-time decision-making. Our customers enjoy the benefit of WinShot, reporting a 15% increase in their in-store sales. They also save it 75% of the time to get their stores to look the way they should have been originally. They also enjoyed a 90% field collaborators engagement rate, which is higher than any of the tools I mentioned before. Our business model is based on monthly subscription at 349 Tunisian dinar per user per month. And we have a special customized plan for enterprises that have more than 50 field workforces. At Twinshot, We compete in the in-store retail performance software markets, valued at 9.2 billion US dollars globally. Our target market is the MENA region, estimated at 464 million US dollars, and we are expecting to grow by 30% annually. Since we launched our web and mobile platform six months ago, we've managed to gain the trust of Orange Tunisia as a paid customers. And thanks to this partnership, we are generating over 40,000 Tunisian dinar in total revenue. Starting with a pilot of 15 licenses, we are now in the process of extending WinShot and integrating the store managers to use our solution in the 1,500 Orange retail stores in Tunisia. We also actively prospecting new customers in the telco industry as well as major mobile phone suppliers and distributors. By the end of this year, and by closing current deals with five clients in telecom and retail, We are expecting to reach 450,000 Tunisian dinars as total revenue. And also, we have just finished developing the version 2 of our platform and launched it with the WinShot iOS version. In 2021, we are expecting to reach 1.5 million Tunisian dinars by onboarding 25 clients in telco and fashion retail in Tunisia and Morocco and developing artificial intelligence algorithm to provide in-store analytics directly through image recognition. By 2022, we are expecting to reach 3 million Tunisian dinars by onboarding 15 new clients, including West African countries. 
extending our customer acquisition to cosmetic and FMCG retail and launching a new mobile app for independent field professionals operating in any sector or activity. To support our ambitious goals, we are raising 650,000 Tunisian dinars to hire confirmed sales and support teams, strengthen our market position in Tunisia and prepare our expansion in neighboring countries. At Winshot, we are four co-founders with a perfect combination of business field experience and technical passion. We are working in synergy and participative decision making. Myself, with more than 10 years in field sales operations, Hela our CTO, a computer engineer, DevOps and cloud expert, Ala Mokrani, our backend engineer, and Amjad, our front-end engineer. We have more than 25 years of combined experience. At Winshot, we aim to provide long-term value for our customers and their teams. So, believe in our present potential and be part of the future of the retail industry. Thank you very much for your attention. Kousay Barhoumi, co-fondateur de AI Diagnosis Vision. Sassna Ayari, je suis la co-fondatrice de AI Diagnosis Vision. AI Diagnosis Vision, c'est une plateforme qui permet aux dentistes un diagnostic précis et précoce des tumeurs, des kystes et des caries à partir d'une seule image radiologique 2D. Kent Halma, j'ai donné le fait que j'ai eu mon ami d'enfance, Léo Kousay, et je suis venu tous les deux des dentistes, mais je n'ai pas les compétences techniques. Je suis arrivé à notre troisième cofondateur, qui est un ingénieur de l'intelligence artificielle. Je suis venu à l'intérieur de nous avons lancé une plateforme web. L'expérience de Flat Six Labs, j'ai eu une maison de confort en terrain. Pour notre équipe, Flat Six Labs a été une locomotive. Elle nous a guidés et dirigés vers un même objectif. Et grâce à cela, nous avons maintenant une meilleure synergie. Ce qui a été un soutien moral, c'est que nous avons aidé pour nous les objectifs et nous avons aidé à nous aider à nous aider. Hello everyone, my name is Sals Nayari, CEO and co-founder of AI Diagnosis Vision. From my experience as a dentist in many public hospitals, I noticed that the lack of dedicated radiology and lab equipment makes it challenging for dentists to provide patients with an optimal care, and that would lead to false diagnosis and a wrong treatment plan. The process today is often time-consuming, invasive, risky, and very expensive due to delayed diagnosis. And that's mainly due to limited access and supply of X-ray machines. In fact, the World Health Organization estimated that two-thirds of the planet does not have access to basic radiology service. And that's why we created AI Diagnosis Vision to transform the oral healthcare sector for doctors, private offices, and public hospitals with an accurate and early diagnosis, a 3D construction of X-ray images, and an efficient treatment plan. Our solution can be plugged as a standalone API to integrate with existing softwares in the market, but we will also offer our own practice management software for fresh graduated doctors. Our platform combines these elements to help dentists perform at the highest possible level, manage patients, and give the best care possible. It will also enable more people to benefit from a higher level of care in the diagnosis and treatment of dental diseases. They can log into our cloud-based platform easily, log into their profile, add a new patient, fill out the patient's information, and upload a 2D X-ray in a few clicks. Our AI-powered algorithm, based with advanced machines and deep learning, will immediately predict the presence of a disease in a few seconds, with 90% of accuracy of a diagnosis. It will also provide an efficient treatment plan depending on the medical condition and history of the patient, reveal gaps and indicate risks. We generate revenue by a yearly subscription plan starting from 599 dinar. That increases depending on the number of X-rays analyzed. We are a B2B company operating in the Tunisian dentistry market with its 7,000 dentists, and that has a market value of over 9 million dinar. More than 150,000 dentists are present in the MENA region, and we estimate a market value of more than 200 million dinars. We have a fully functional MVP, and we are currently improving our platform. We've used more than 8,000 X-rays with already known diagnosis uploaded to our dataset, teaching it to create a unique algorithm that can identify with more than 90% of accuracy of a diagnosis a wide range of specific diseases. We also secured partnership with two major hospitals in Tunis, and another dental association, 
given us access to more than 1,500 dentists. And already 30 dentists are using our platform as a beta testers, and two clinics pre-ordered our solution and confirmed buying our product. We are planning to launch the platform by the end of this year and onboard 100 dentists. Next year, our main focus is to enhance the accuracy of our platform to reach 98% of accuracy of diagnosis, to detect more diseases, and to complete the 3D construction from X-ray images. Our main objective is to sell more than 500 subscriptions and generate a revenue of 300 k dinar. By 2022, we are planning to launch the platform in the Maghreb region to sell more than 1,000 subscriptions and to generate a revenue of more than 600 k dinar. We are asking for 500 k dinar, 40% to develop our product, to purchase high-performance equipment dedicated to artificial intelligence, for software support, and for high-fidelity cloud services. 20% for marketing, 20% to empower our sales efforts, and 20% to enlarge our team. This company is developed by my co-founder Kusai Barhumi as a CEO and myself as a CEO. We are both dentists. Our CTO Anwar Neshi, a PhD student in computer science, specialized in artificial intelligence. And behind it all, there is a great team and a great energy. We would also like to thank our advisors for their support. AI Diagnosis Vision mission is to digitalize the oral healthcare sector and bring fresh minds to the future. Thank you. Yoel Moula, cofondateur de WeSettle. C'est Jérémy Lamblin, cofondateur de WeSettle. WeSettle est une start-up active dans le FinTech. Ce qu'on a fait, c'est principalement les entreprises pour qu'on a fait un programme de Le programme d'accélération de FlatSex Labs, c'est un programme qui est très enrichissant, surtout les profils entrepreneurs en Tunisie. Il y a beaucoup de choses qu'on a appris dans ce cadre. حاجة أخرى زادة كي تخيز امبورتانت هو لو ريزو و لو نتوركينج في لاتسيكس لابس الحقيقة حطونا اون كونتاكت افيك بلوسيوغ بيرسون اللي هما اكتيف في تو سكي فينتيك ترانسفورماسيون ديجيتال بانكينج و تو دونك و هادي حاجة عاونتنا بالباهي بور la partie donc prospection ou le business dev de notre solution pour faire des partenariats avec avec des banques ou à la parler de notre solution à des clientèles importantes à l'échelle nationale mais aussi avec des pistes à l'échelle internationale. Flat a été une expérience très enrichissante tant sur le plan professionnel que sur le plan personnel. Nous avons acquis des bases solides lors de ce programme d'accélération et ce dans tous les domaines. Mais Flatix Lab, ce n'est pas qu'un réseau, c'est aussi un esprit d'équipe et de camaraderie. J'ai énormément apprécié travailler avec cette promotion Flatix Lab 2020. Hello, my name is Well, co-founder of WeSettle. Paying an invoice requires the physical original document signed and stamped, which leads to a stressful paperwork. Besides, Enterprises in different sizes face difficulties chasing clients when it comes to invoice payment. There is a need to call, remind, and even bag in some cases. And actually, around 92% of transactions are done in cash, and the payment process is long and stressful. Another important reason is the COVID-19 situation and its impact on business continuity due to the necessity of physical contact for invoice payment. Our solution helps micro, small and medium enterprises better manage their invoices digitally and allows them to collect payments electronically, mainly through our integrated API within banks, online portals and mobile applications. It's also possible to pay by bank cards and wallet for small amounts. Also, users could monitor their invoices payment status in real time without any manual action. Our solution is cloud-based and accessible via web as a mobile application, but also as an API to be integrated in existing companies' ERPs. It's super easy with our solution. First, you upload your invoice. No matter what the template is, our intelligent OCR tool extracts required data quickly. Second, you validate and sign your invoice electronically if need be. Third step is to create your invoice payment request and to share it with your client in one click. Finally, your client pays you via his online banking mainly. It's also possible to pay by bank card or wallet for small amounts. We offer a modular solution for suppliers as follows. Faturti for micro-sized companies and small businesses to manage their invoices digitally. Teswia, our main solution to request and manage invoices payments. And Afarieti, a premium solution that covers both Faturti and Teswia. 
For payers, we provide an easy and secure way to pay invoices and bills, mainly through online and mobile banking. It's also possible to pay small amounts by bank cards. For Faturti, the invoice management solution, we apply monthly subscription plan starting from 20 dinars. Besides, we deduct a fee for each document signed electronically. Also, for invoice payment with our Tesuya solution, our source of revenue comes from fees on transactions for the receiver based on the number of payment requests per month and on the total amount of the invoice itself. Our fee starts from 1.2 dinars only. Looking at the market, we are targeting all enterprises and their clients in Tunisia as a first step and later on in the North African market and then in Gulf region. In Tunisia, we are targeting 55,000 enterprises in the coming five years with a total value of 400 million dinars. In the North African market, we talk about more than 1.5 million enterprises and a total value of 2.5 billion dinars. And in the full MENA region, we are targeting 3.5 million enterprises, leading to a total value of 6 billion dinars. We have been working hard and making swift progress. We did partnership with public authorities for digital authentication and electronic signature of invoices as per the related Tunisian regulations. We did partnerships with Banque de Tunisie and Banque Zitouna for invoice payment via their online and mobile banking. We are also in deep discussion with four more banks and we are targeting all national banks by end of 2021. We participated as well to the sandbox program of the Central Bank of Tunisia for the bulk payment solution. And we got our first four clients even before going to production. We are integrating our solution to manage a cumulated average of 16,000 invoices, which will get us a monthly revenue of 22,000 dinars. Our goal is to lead Tunisian market for bill payment and then move to the MENA one. Next month, we will go to production with four clients and a bank. And by end of 2020, we are targeting partnerships with three banks and getting around 30 clients, which will secure us a revenue of 50,000 dinars. In 2021, we are planning to launch our bulk payment solution for big companies and our own wallet, and to expand to the North African market. And in 2022, we are planning a strategic move to become a payment establishment in Tunisia, and also to hit the Gulf market to offer our AI solution, our wallet, and online banking smart services. We look forward to raising 700,000 dinars, and this is mainly to hire more talents for product development of our wallet technology, and of course, for an efficient marketing strategy. The founding team consists of four members. Myself, well, holding more than 10 years of international experience in financial services and capital markets. Naima Mula as a COO with an IT background and more than six years of experience in multiple management roles in different departments. Jeremy Congé Lambelin, our financial risk advisor, a former trader and market risk manager with more than 12 years of international experience. And Mohamed Djerbi, our managing director, and he used to be a principal director at the Tunisian Ministry of Tourism, and he has great experience in administration and in communication. We have enlarged our teams, and currently we settle counts 12 diverse and multi-skilled profiles. Thank you. Looking forward to talking with you further and to help you settle your invoices. Naimed Al Abed, Muasis Tulba Pointeen. Tulba Pointeen, it makes an AI Mariv, which is a very good thing, but the internet is a visit, and it is a very good thing, and it is a very good thing, and it is a very good thing. L'apport de Flasix Labs pour Tobba Pointeen a porté sur beaucoup de valeurs, mais bien sûr, trois facteurs majeurs. La première, c'est le marketing. L'équipe marketing a été en compétence ou elle a été fait les best practices sur le marketing. Deuxième volet, c'est l'user experience qui fait que le consommateur il stagne le produit. Là, on a également on a fait beaucoup d'optimisation et beaucoup d'amélioration. Troisième facteur, c'est pour le mieux accès au financement ou l'investissement. Le réseau international de Flat Six Labs permet le top d'appointéen d'aller plus rapidement, plus efficacement vers l'objectif de la start-up. Hi, I am Rawi Ashniti, Chief Marketing Officer at Toba.ca. Our mission is to transform healthcare through technology. Did you know that in Tunisia there are less than two doctors for every 1,000 people? And if you go outside of the capital Tunis, you will be finding less and less doctors.
This problem is shared by emerging countries in our continent and with pandemics now a day-to-day -day reality. Patients face even more difficulties to reaching the right doctor. Health professionals, on the other hand, struggle to provide the quality health care from a distance. That's why we created Topba.tn, a telemedicine platform that connects patients with the qualified medical doctors to conduct video consultations anytime, anywhere. With Topba.tn, patients can easily choose a doctor by specialty and the qualification and then can book the appropriate appointment according to their availability. The process is smooth and patients can pay online easily and securely. So our platform patients can share with their doctors healthcare documents, such as x-rays and blood analysis results. With Tobba.tn, patients are notified online and via SMS to join the teleconsultations and then enjoy a seamless experience all from the comfort of their home or office. Doctors onboarded on our platform have access to a dedicated dashboard to view the list of ongoing consultations and the check agenda. A doctor opens the information sheets and conducts the consultation remotely with the patient via video and the chat. With a few clicks, doctors can generate the prescription and send it to the patient via the platform. Doctors can subscribe to our platform they can choose between a monthly subscription plan or a pay-per-use model. In Tunisia, we have more than 18K doctors, and we already target both Tunisians as well as Algerians, who frequently come to Tunisia to seek medical care. We also see an interesting opportunity in launching in French-speaking African countries. Africa represents a potential market size of $1 billion by 2023. We have deployed our solution in Tunisia with a fully functional platform that has the necessary certifications and compliance to protect user data and manage health data securely. Since we launched the platform, we have started generating early revenue with about 5,000 patients creating accounts and uploading their medical records. We have facilitated over then 530 teleconsultations growing 36% month over month. And we are happy to have onboarded 200 qualified doctors to the platform with over 25 specialities represented. We have secured the trust of major public and private health institutions, as well as organizations to help us in our mission to digitalize and offer solutions to the national healthcare sector. To help citizens in the fight against coronavirus, we provide the space for patients in hospitals for free to connect with their doctors. By the end of this year, we will integrate electronic signatures for doctors. Next year, we will focus on virtual office for doctors and SAS mode for hospitals and generate 400k Tunisian dinner in revenue. By the end of 2022, Tobba will propose automated consultations by artificial intelligence to reach 2.4 million Tunisian dinner in revenue. We are asking for 800k Tunisian dinars. 50% will go to sales and marketing, 40% will go to product new features and operations, and 10% will go to logistics and basic services. We strongly believe that we have a motivated team with the right mix of seniority, experience, performance and know-how. Our CEO Ahmed has excellent leadership skills and a serial entrepreneur in the IT sector. Our CEO Fadwa has the ability to effectively manage, lead and supervise multidisciplinary teams. We are also backed by doctors and health professional advisors. Our mission is to make Tobba the number one healthcare platform in the continent. Thank you. Dr. Karim Hajar, je suis le cofondateur et CTO de Gridnex. Nabil Youssef, cofondateur de Gridnex. Gridnex est un projet qui est le cloud gaming. Flasix Labs, je suis venu à la maison de la maison et je suis venu à la maison de la maison. Quand on a commencé à préparer l'implémentation de Gridnex Fitons, c'était la première euh, donc, euh, idée nous nous sommes en train de faire. On a fait les gens énormément, surtout dans le cadre euh, 
ou ce genre de projet où on a beaucoup besoin d'un réseau puissant, tout le monde, faire région en Et ça nous a aidé, ça nous a apporté beaucoup aussi sur le plan personnel et moi de Vid. Arafat Barcha Abed, une autre façon de travailler, beaucoup plus simple et beaucoup plus efficace. Vid Hal. Inch'Allah, le Hal m'a dit, je nous boule. Hello to everyone, I'm Savas, co-founder and CEO of Gridmix. From the first Atari console in the 1980s and the point game to today's esports tournaments with Fortnite, the game industry is involving a lightning fast speeds. Game industry is a huge market, and I'm talking about 1.5 billion active gamers all over the world and more than 150 billion US dollar revenue every year, and these numbers are going to increase. Also, the advent of 5G, remote and cloud technologies, has marked a new beginning in the connectivity landscape. I brought about the fundamental shift in the gaming industry called cloud gaming. Cloud gaming is the new trend in the gaming industry, but the technology we support is still weak, and nobody succeeds in bringing the ultimate user experience. Companies trying to build such a technology have user experience issues. Gamers face serious latency issues, they have to switch from different platforms, create multiple accounts, download additional softwares, or purchase to be able to play a game. Also, for some of them, users require to spend an extra amount to purchase additional hardware such as controllers. This is the reason we decided to launch Gridnex and improve the cloud gaming technology. With Gridnex, users can play any PC game without latency, without leaving the platform, and without buying or installing any game. Gamers can play video games, even the most demanding, directed to their browsers by just a click. Gridnex is a platform with a games catalog of the latest and retro PC games, where games are on the cloud and are displayed on users' devices directed to their browsers. We're also working to add more games from different platforms, such as control games, and some good quality mobile games. Our users just need to subscribe to Gridnex platform, then search to find games from a catalog of over 100 games from the best developers and publishers in the market, and just click the button to start playing instantly with minimum 30 frames per second. They are not required to download, install, or purchase any game. From the other side, game developers can install, test, and promote their games very easy without the required external development and coding. We offer to them a form where they can submit their games titles and a portal where they can test the performance of their games. The main business model of Gridnex is B2C, where we focus mainly on cloud and time filler gamers where they can get unlimited access to the Gridnex games catalog with monthly subscription. We're also working on the possibility to run native ads on games without interrupting, interrupting the gaming flow. With this option, we'll have the possibility to provide a free plan to our gamers and generate revenue from displaying ads. For the game publishers and editors who share revenues where they can get 50% on the subscription fees depending on the number of gamers playing their games and the total number of users. We are in close contact with the most creative gaming publishers to bring new and exciting games to our community such as Plugin Digital, Another Indie and Galactic. We are also developing our technology in collaboration with Microsoft which provides the service to deploy our technology as well as other tech partners to deliver the best and optimal cloud experience. So far, we already developed the cloud technology and we had 100% successful tests with people around the world. To reach there, it took us almost two years of research and development. By the end of 2019, we finalized the demo and we were working on the MVP, which are expecting to be ready before the end of 2020. We are also in discussion with game publishers for partnership in order to provide their games for the Greenex. The year 2021, we target to improve our technology and promote Greenex with digital marketing and worldwide events that we are planning to attend. We are also targeting to acquire more than 5,000 subscribers, add more than 100 games in our catalog, and generate more than $50,000 in revenue. By the end of 2022, we target to have more than 20,000 subscribers and the main board partnership with game publishers in order to increase games catalog and generate more than $300,000 US dollar revenue. To deliver on this ambitious roadmap, we are asking $600,000 for our operation expenses for the next three years. The main use of funds will cover the marketing costs and the cost to attend gaming events around the world, for hiring cloud experts and developers in order to improve the technology, and a part of it to launch new features such as 24-7 game support system where it can improve the user experience. In the team, we have gaming addicted and user experience experts, me, Huja, in development and design other websites, Karim with PhD in computer science and more than 10 years experience in the field, and a built cloud expert and founder of Insomnia. 
You have also in our team passionate developers and cloud engineers, such as Mariam, Ashraf, and Ferris, and experienced marketers such as Amin. I would like to thank you for your attention, and please feel free to visit our website and request for bid access to be the first trying our gaming experience. Aslema et Nassim Yambarek, je suis la fondatrice de la start-up Unixchic. Unixchic est une plateforme qui a pour objectif de promouvoir des créateurs, de les aider à structurer leur marque, de les aider à les développer à l'échelle nationale et internationale et de distribuer leurs produits Fitun sur le Baramentons. Quand j'ai intégré Flat Six Labs, où c'est les objectifs intérêts, il y a la structuration de mon projet, le développement de mon réseau à l'échelle internationale et surtout développer le potentiel que j'ai en moi en tant que fondatrice. Hello everyone, I'm Semia, founder and CEO of Unixic. I'm passionate about textile and the fashion industry. Fashion designers in our region are creative, fresh and innovative, but they face several challenges. Creators have a little experience in management and launching their brand. They have a limited network to connect to the right partners and suppliers, and they lack capital to launch their first collection and going to market. That's how we came up with the idea to launch the Unique Chic Accelerator, a three-month program for fashion designers and creative that takes them from sketches to producing their collections and selling their creations online. In collaboration with our international coaches and fashion design experts, we have a strict selection process to choose 10 designers who will become part of our program. These designers will receive a three month of extensive training offered by world-class fashion schools and well-known designers. Thanks to our partnership with the major textile group, we cover the cost of two collections for each of our designers to kickstart their fashion career. Through our acceleration program, creators connect with industrial partners to source their materials, fabrics, and the equipment they need, textile companies to create and scale their collections, and network of local and international fashion outlets to showcase their creations. At the end of the program, creators demonstrate their new fashion lines during a fabulous fashion show. After acceleration, creators still benefit of our extensive network with the opportunities to sell their creations through our pop-up stores around the world. To help designers gain visibility and sell online, we've created a marketplace platform, uniquechic.com. Through our platform, designers will have their own page to showcase their universe, sell their items online, and ship internationally a new fresh collections. For all those services and support, we share 20% royalties on the two collections produced by our creators during the acceleration program. And we also take 30% commission on every item sold on our platform. Last year, the market of luxury goods was 281 billion euros. Almost 12% of luxury goods are sold online. Unique Chic is targeting the MENA region where this market is estimated at 15 billion euros. Since we launched last year, we secured so far 35 fashion designers to join the platform, sold over 100 items through our marketplace, and generated 50K Tunisian dinars in revenue. As we launch the first edition of our acceleration program, we will reach 70 designers, organize five pop-up stores, and generate 200k Tunisian dinars of revenue. Next year, we will accept applications for North African creators to have 150 designers and organize pop-up stores around Europe and North Africa. By 2022, we aim to onboard a large community of fashion designers in the MENA region and generate 1 million Tunisian dinars in revenue. To achieve our ambitious roadmap, we are asking for 500k Tunisian dinars, 60% to manage our acceleration program, 20% to expand our team and attract tech, fashion, and marketing talent, and 20% to seduce fashion designers and give them more visibility. 
Behind Unix Chic, there is an amazing dynamic and skilled team with a combined experience of 20 years in fashion industry, technology expertise, digital marketing, and branding. As a founder, I have 12 years experience in the fashion industry as a consultant for many well-known Tunisian brands and launched several fashion clothing lines. Our dream at Tunic Chic is to be the largest network of fashion entrepreneurs in the MENA region. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and feel free to visit our website and use the code UC2020 to have a special discount. Thank you. I hope you had a good time getting to know these startups and hearing more about what they offer. If you miss any of the pitches or would like to get in touch with the entrepreneurs, just a reminder that you can go to demode.flaskslabstunis.com where you can also get a lot more information on their project and their teams. Thanks again to our partners and to our amazing team for all their dedication and efforts. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Interview Yahya, deuxième partie, première prise. Repairing costs. Allah 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 Minni Lille. This company is developed by my co-founder Kusai Barhumi as a CEO. Oh. Man la hane. Okay. Amor, you fall. Mahast buj. Amor, I go. Hello. Six hundred thousand US dollar for our water. Thank you. <laughs> and please join us creating the future of the insurance industry.